Hey guys, uh, we're going to be covering uh, De Moivre's theorem in this session. Uh, so let's get started. So basically, De Moivre's theorem states that if you have R cis theta and you have the whole thing raised to the power of n, then this is equal to R to the power of n cis n times theta. So this is what De Moivre's theorem states. You might wonder, how is that actually possible? So, to see how this is possible, we kind of need to kind of remember what we did a couple of videos back when we did multiplication of complex numbers in polar form. So, now, if you can't remember it, I'd actually uh, advise you to go and watch that video again. But um, I'm going to get started on how this actually works out. So, here's the proof of how a De Moore's theorem actually works out. So if we have, um, I mean, this is what we originally had. We had r cis theta to the power of n. Uh, then this, sorry, not n. Let's say we want to put it as to the power of 3. If we say we, we put it to the power of 3, then we know that this is equal to r cis theta multiplied by r cis theta multiplied by r cis theta. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with the first two r cis thetas. That's in the green box right here. Now, according to multiplication of uh, complex numbers in, in polar form, when we are doing this, uh, we know that this means we multiply the two r's together, so it'll become r squared. And with the angles, we basically just add the two angles up. So we're going to have cis theta plus theta. So this is what the uh, green box is going to equal. But of course, I have to remember that I need to multiply it by r cis theta in the end. So going back to this green box, you can see that you can simplify this to r squared cis theta plus theta would be 2 theta. And of course, this is all multiplied by r cis theta. So from this point, we're going to do multiplication, you know, the same rule that we did in the green box. So this time we're going to have r squared multiplied by r, which is going to be r cubed. And with the angles inside, cis is going to be 2 theta plus the 1 theta from r cis theta there, and the, under the, where the purple line is. So we're going to have 1 theta. So simplifying this, we're going to get r cubed cis 3 theta. So from this, what we can kind of, we can kind of see that, so when we have r cis theta to the power of 3, or n, sorry, not n, or 3, Wow, I keep confusing you guys there. So when we have r cis 3, we can see that this is equal to r cubed cis 3 theta. And that's what De Moore's theorem basically states at the top there. When you have it to the power of n, then it'll be r to the power of n cis n theta. All right, so let's have a look at a couple of examples. Here's our first example of the day. We want to simplify 3 cis 20 degrees uh, to the power of 3. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to write down our little uh, De Moivre's theorem right here, just to give us a reminder. So as you can see, if we have 3 cis 20 to the power of 3, so 3 cis 20 to the power of 3, then this would equal 3 to the power of 3 cis 3 times 20 degrees. So simplifying this, we will get 3 to the power of 3 is 27 and 3 times 20 is 60, so we're going to get cis 60 degrees. Okay, that's basically it. Now, for, well, that's basically it for this part, but I'm going to have a look at another example now. All right, so the second example, I want to use De Moore's theorem to expand 1 plus i to the power of 6. Now, those of you with a Casio graphics calculator, um, you can basically put this in the graphics calculator, and actually it, it will give you the simplified answer. Um, but if, but anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to use this using the De Moivre's theorem as well. Now, once again, if we remember the formula for De Moivre's theorem, it's actually r cis theta to the power of n is r n cis n times theta. Now, we have a problem here, don't we? Because r cis theta is actually in polar form. So this is in polar form, but one plus i, this is actually in rectangular form. So I guess the first step you've got to do is convert that 1 plus i into polar form. So 
Ooh, sorry. And let's try that again. So if we convert 1 plus i into polar form. Now we know that 1 plus i, now once again guys, this we should all be familiar with this right now, so I'm just going to go straight on to it. 1 plus i, when you convert this into polar form, you should have square root of 2 cis 45 degrees. Okay, if you're not sure about how to do this, um, I would actually ask you to go back a few videos in this playlist and uh, see how to convert from polar form, sorry, convert from rectangular form to polar, to polar form. Okay, so once we have this in polar form, we know that we want to find square root of 2 cis 45 is what 1 plus i is. So we want, it, we want this to the power of 6, which means we apply De Moivre's theorem, so we're going to get square root of 2 to the power of 6, cis 6 times 45 degrees. So simplifying this, square root of 2 to the power of 6 would give us 8, and 6 times 45 gives us 270 degrees. Now, at this point, you're, you can actually leave the answer in polar, uh, in polar form, but if they do ask for the answer in rectangular form, then you need to convert it. And converting 8 cis 270 to rectangular form, you will end up with just simply negative 8i. All right, so... Guys, that's basically the two ideas in terms of using De Moivre's theorem to um, expand complex numbers. So, yeah, that's about it for this session. Thank you for watching.